I need a holiday. Let's just check how much is in the account. Well, since I can't afford an actual holiday and I can't afford to actually s still stay in the United Kingdom, I might as well have a simulated holiday, I suppose. Ah, there's always a blinking queue. I just want to go somewhere nice. I love how every furry, every brony, every human, why not? I am Christopher, and today I'll be taking you through uh, my top five holiday games. Now, you might say I am uh, stole this from Peanut Butter Gamer, but here's America, Nick's Vacation, and British uh, Holiday. So before we before we start, I'd just say, just like to say, there's going to be a few rules on this. So, number one, no more than two games where you kill people. Okay, <laughs> I don't I don't mind a bit of blood spallatter here and there, but um, you might just want to chill out and just uh, what they call it, relax without. Uh, being uh, on edge it, at um, somebody's trying to kill you or you're trying to kill someone else. Number two, one American game. Like, yes, uh, uh, like, yes, I know so, some of you are American at home, but uh, remember, I'm British, so I would probably be taking an American holiday, so only one American game and um, and the third thing is I'm going to put the age rating down below because some of it some of them might be 18 plus some of them might be lower just so you get a general idea and you can choose what uh, one you want so let's Let's start things off then, shall we? So the first we're looking at today is our fight for the quest. You can choose your own character in this. You can even customise your own character if you want to. I haven't tried that yet, but yeah. Even turn on God mode to stop you from getting knocked out. It's amazing. I do like the idea that all your menu options are on a phone. So, use a bar. Then you walk into the said bar. There are three bars. One of them being a southern bar, another one being a normal bar, and another being one being a wed wedding reception, in, including one a uh, non uh, one including a back alley now excuse me I think I need to just relax I've had a hard day off work I think I need this you can play this game at your own pace just uh, drink and just let a uh, load off get drunk and just relax generally does give the good feeling of being on a night out. You don't have to fight, you can just take in the rich inheritance. This place, the scenery, the physics. Then you feel like an absolute weeb and start doing what the game says in the title. 
Side note, this game wants you to explore. That's sometimes why they have this, but if this is in your way, just quickly uh, pick it up and just throw it out of your way. This can be said for all the bars. You could even pick up a needle if in this game if you want to. Even throw a needle. As a furry, I'm quite impartial to a drink. And speaking of, there's a furry in this game. Sometimes they even say things. Oh gosh. I think I'm going to need a few drinks after di in that ugly mug. So yes, when we go to con different countries, sometimes we like to go and have a little bit too much to drink. So that's what a drunken bar fight allows you to do. You can, you can stroll into a bar, drink how much you want. Don't think there's any limit to how much you can drink. And, as the game says, get into a, what they call it, a bar fight, if you want to. Sometimes it's nice just to go into a bar and take a few edges off, and then you start to get that little thing in your head saying, uh, this is dumb, let's get into a bar fight. <laughs> and, the, if you want to, you can put God Mode on. Uh, that's usually really much the game is you what they call it a beat you're the one person that beats up everybody <laughs> so hey it's better better being in the game rather than being in real life am i right so moving on to the next game far cry this is a luscious game where you can drive around go motor boating Do some hang gliding, travel on the beach, and get kidnapped and held ransom by a drug pirate. Wait, what was that last one? Okay, so Rook is not all that it cracks up to be, but you've still got your fair share of activities to do. You've got a great antagonist, which let's f wants you to escape because of the thrill of the run. Look at the, how flimsy that bamboo cage looks. You have a friend out of the captive camp slash weed camp. And it does a pretty good job of showing you the ropes. It's interrupted when your friend gets shot and you have to do whatever it takes to make sure that he doesn't bleed out. Unfortunately, your friend is dead and it's kind of an emotional moment there. Please take note, Codex, uh, Prisoner of War. This is how you do it. Like I said, there's still a lot of things to do, like, um, climbing a tower and activating it so you can reveal more of the map. Zip lining and gliding. You can drive most vehicles. Sure, there's killing, but that's half the fun. Um, to choose between uh, Just Cause 3 and Far Cry um, 3. Because they're both, um, they're both games at uh, you're on an island, and even though there's quite a bit of killing, but that's what it's all about, um, 
they both offer something new, but I just decided that Far Cry 3 is uh, what they call will be my number four. Sure, there's a lot, there's a bit of death involved and a risk of getting killed, but you also can do quite a lot of um, things that's been advertised at the beginning of the game when the villain shows you everything that you've done so you can you can do go gliding you can uh, drive cars wherever you want to as long as somebody else isn't driving uh, them you can you can activate um, things you might be able to fly planes who knows you can grapple grapple the hook on wires you well you can zip wire on things so there's already quite a bit to do in this uh, first person island thing. Ugh. So, on to the next. Ah, it's so good to be back in the island of Medici. This is just cause three. This is a lovely island to visit and there's a lot of things you can do like glide around everywhere at the graveling hook with that and you're pretty much flying <coughs> borrow some of the residents cars and explore the island yourself and if you're too young for just cause three if you've got a PlayStation 3, you can always buy Just Cause 2 and explore that island. It's quite, uh, there's still quite a bit, few things you can do in that. Where David Tennant goes for his holidays as a humble, miniature um announcer for the news. You might partake in activities such as skydiving, parachuting, boating with uh, other online people. It, se it just seems like uh, yeah, there's more than one people just out beating themselves. It's kind of nice. It can also be the game's downfall as well. Because you cannot play Just Cause 3 without any internet connection. Go to the beach, help some revels, practice your gliding skills, parachute, steal cars, do whatever. There's a, there's a lot to do even if you don't really want to do the missions. And it has quite a good soundtrack to match the mood of the game. So, the uh, reason why Just Cause is at number three is because you can do a little bit more than just, you can do more, a little bit more than, uh, what, than Far Cry 3. What I mean by that, before you get angry at me, is you can, you can, in Just Cause 3, you can actually carjack people, while in uh, Far Cry 3, you have to wait until they get out of their vehicles for you to just, for you to um, get in and then just to go off with them. This, <laughs> and I'm surprised because that was an island where drug lords and, uh, cr uh, drug lords and crime is uh, happening and you're trying to take I think you're trying to take back the island or, or maybe I've, I haven't played it for a while so so but that's a uh, game where there's where bad guys are shooting at you uh, and you would uh, think uh, you would think since it's kind of an unruly law, lawless island you wouldn't think that would there would be politeness and how you get into the car and out of the car Moving on, also that you can 
also power glide whenever you like so basically your suit will um, get out these um, these um, I guess they're wings and you just glide around uh, top that with the grappling hook and you basically can fl fly around uh, anywhere you like and you wonder why I put this game at uh, number uh, at number three because I'm a dragon I like to I like flying what more can I say our net is slave labor camp I mean animal crossing animal crossing new horizons I do admit the island resort in animal new leaf is a more better than what Tom Nook has to offer, but anyhow, anywho, you start off at um, security or the reception, which, let's face it, there's not really that much security. I'm sure so it just brings back that simpler time. The first you boot up your game, you'll find out you're putting tents down doing some tasks while putting your tent down the other tents are optional and as you may be that these clips are not mine I just got them from the internet ooh bells very well allow me to lighten your load you get to name an island after the vote on and after they've named the island they all have a nice alcoholic drink to celebrate it's alcohol. You can't tell me otherwise, Nintendo. I guess you all knew this was coming at some point. Number two, Animal Crossing New Horizon. My thoughts on it um, is uh, is pretty. This is a. Uh, it's almost like having a holiday. And if you're fed up of uh, the island where you are, or your island. You can ha always go on another to somebody else's island and visit them. So it's a holiday within a holiday. So, moving on. The coin. This has no age rating, but if I hazard a guess, I would say it would be a 3 plus or a 7 plus. So you ch first you choose your character. Then you select you. I'm going to be playing on birthday mode, although I probably would give survival mode a try when I'm probably doing let's plays. <sighs> okay, let's see what's in here then. Well, it's a little late for my birthday, but thanks, I guess. Okay, you can have it, you can have it around me. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Personal space, dude! So I played with a ball and I... did a few arcade games. It wasn't long before I... It, uh, decided to explore the rest of the island. And golf cart that Uncle Phil gave me. Look, if you're going to give me a vehicle in game, be prepared for me to run things over. It wasn't before I ran out of gas and found a new arcade. Found out they had a go-kart where I thought it was a bumper car. I'm like, Mummy, Mummy, I want to go in the bumper cars! I actually had a lot of fun on this game. More fun than you could imagine. So yes. I decided to give this uh, uh, game a go, and I, hopefully it's going to be okay. But I like the fact that it, there's a lot to explore, and it and it constantly updates and updates and updates. So it's still in kind of it's still in an early access, but I think there's got a, there's quite a lot has been completed you can drive around there's a survival mode 
birthday mode just uh, if you this is a uh, crystal fire and it's time for me to do some playing enjoy my holidays